the not so obvious goal of search analysis. In our company, we have a goal for every single article that we write. Here's why. We have a lot of writers. I mean, our writer, writers can produce hundreds of articles every single week. I mean, daily we're producing dozens and dozens and dozens of blog posts. So we have an office where we have our writing team, Content Warrior, and they're just churning out tons of content. Now that's awesome, right? It's awesome that our company can move at lightning speed. But do you know what happens when a company's moving at lightning speed? Well, it either leads you to success really, really, really fast, or if the process is bad, it leads you to failure really, really, really fast. That's why we suggest for people who are creating their own website, start by writing your own articles. Learn how this works, start to see some success and how this works, and then start moving faster. Really outsource some stuff, right? But first you've gotta make sure you're doing it correctly and headed in the right direction. And so for us, it's extremely important that every single article that's written gets an ROI, right? Because if we spend whatever, $50 on, an art, on somebody to write a, a quick post, if that's what we cost in our employees and the office and everything that we do there, but on average, you know, a year from now we learn, oh, we're actually only making $40 per post. Well, times all the volume that we're producing at, we're gonna go broke fast. <laughs> so we have to make sure that process is spot on. So here's our company's goal for search analysis. I want you to adopt it. The goal for search analysis is to find article topics that your site can reliably rank for, which will bring in an average of 1,000 page views per month per article. So every time one of our writers produces something, we want it to bring in 1,000 page views per article. Here's why we have selected that goal. If you write, let's say, 100 articles on your site, and then each of those articles gets 1,000 page views per month. Well, doesn't take a real hard math to see that's 100,000 page views a month. Now, we've worked over years and surveyed our audience and seen what's kind of normal for us. And the average that we're seeing from people is an average earnings per thousand page views. We call that EPMP. That's earnings per milli page view is $29.08. That's what we're seeing on average. So if we take $29.08 times that 100,000 page views, or 100, 100 uh, because it's per thousand, then obviously we're going to get $2,908 per month from those 100 articles. Kaboom, that's awesome. Think about how awesome that is. So you write 100 articles, Maybe that takes 300 hours, something like that, right? Um, if we spend 300 hours and we earn $2,908 per month, that's a killer return on investment. So websites are often sold at around, we'll call it $35 um, times their monthly net earnings. So if we, so doing a little bit of math, uh, what we're see then is that site earning $2,908 a month times that 35 times multiple, that site could sell for $101,780. So basically you write 100 articles, 100 grand in the bank, right? If you meet this goal. That's pretty awesome. That's an incredible return on, on your investment. But that's if you were to sell it as soon as it, you know, we're, we're, we're earning money. The more common scenario is you're gonna keep it three years, you earn that money every month, and then you sell it. So at, in, if that were the case, then that site's gonna bring in $206,468. 200 grand by keeping it for three years and then selling that site. That's awesome, right? <laughs> this, is, this is an incredible return on investment if you hit that goal. But here's what's true. Most people aren't gonna hit that goal. We don't always hit that goal. We certainly have many times. We've also had a lot of sites that weren't even close to that goal. So by no means should you expect that to be, to be your return, but that is the goal. That's what we're trying to do. We know it's possible. We've done it plenty of times and we've seen people do it plenty of times. We've seen people exceed it. But now say, you know what? What if I shoot for that goal 
and I end up getting a quarter of that return, a third of that return, maybe even a little bit worse. That's still an awesome return. You're still going to do really, really well. So even if you earn, uh, if you only are getting an average of 300 page views per article, you're going to do just great. This is going to be a very worthwhile investment for just about anybody. So why do we have that 1,000 page view per month per article goal if often we're not going to hit it? Well, it's because it helps to remind us the type of search volume that we're looking for. So if you write an article and it ranks number one on Google, the number one result will probably only get about 25% of the clicks of that total page. Some people are gonna click number two, number three, number seven result. And so you're only gonna get about 25%. So you may say, wait, Jim. So if we're trying to get a thousand page views a month per article, then we actually need to find searches that are searched at least 4,000 times a month because only 25% of the clicks go to number one, right? And that's actually not correct. We're still searching for a total search volume of 1,000 per month because even if you rank number one, maybe that's 250 clicks there, but then we also semantic search. We're gonna rank for some adjacent terms that are really similar. Um, that will really help us to bring in a little bit more. We're gonna get some traffic from social. We're going to win some answer targets for some related things there. We're going to get more volume than just that primary search phrase. So burn this into your head. The goal of search analysis is to find article topics that our site can reliably rank for which will bring in an average of 1,000 page views per month per article. Burn it into your head.